Control Hub is a management portal where administrators can manage users, services, and devices. Once your organization is created, you'll receive an activation email. Click on the Getting Started link to access Control Hub. It is recommended that you use the latest desktop version of Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Your administrator email address is used to sign in. You'll be prompted to create your administrator password. Select Save and sign in. Once signed in, Control Hub will open in the Overview dashboard. In the middle is the Services Overview with tiles where you can quickly view and access your services and features. For example, on the Message tile, you can quickly view your number of user licenses, and by selecting the gear icon, you can quickly navigate to your message settings. On the Calling tile, you can view total user licenses by enterprise and by places. When you select the gear icon, you're routed to the Calling Admin Portal, where you can manage your calling settings. On the Licenses tile, you can see the total users onboarded and the total number of unassigned communication licenses. This tile is helpful to check before adding users, devices, or assigning services to users. Click on Reports to access onboarding reports, subscriptions, and your company info. The Manage Users button allows you to quickly add users. You can also modify or configure your directory synchronization, single sign-on, and auto-assign licenses from this tile. In the left-hand menu, you can also navigate to view your users, places, services, devices, analytics, and more. On the Users page, you can access all the users in your organization. The status indicates if they have activated their account. If the user hasn't activated their account after being invited, you can click the More icon and select Resend Invitation. Click a user to manage their account or find out more about the services they have active. To add a user, select the Manage User button. On the Places page, you can configure and modify your places. A place contains one or more Cisco WebEx devices that are in a common area, like a conference room or lobby. You can set up shared Cisco WebEx devices in these places and add services. On the Services page, you can set up and configure cloud and hybrid services and see if they are active or inactive. Depending on how your organization is set up, different services might be under the cloud or hybrid section. On the Devices page, you can add or manage all the devices for your organization. You can add a device to a user, add shared devices to a place, generate activation codes, search for devices, and lock device settings. On the Analytics page, you can view reports for the services assigned to your organization as well as your organization's devices. On the Settings page, you can configure and customize organization-wide settings, including custom branding, adding problem reports, enabling single sign-on, and more. On the right-hand side of the dashboard are your notifications. Here, you'll see information on new releases, helpful blog and info articles, and more.